Good morning, folks. Uh, just wanted to give you a little video update. Um, I may try to do these more often. Um, my name is Doug Fance, and I'm doing it more for a broad audience. Some of you obviously know me, and I'll post this on my Caring Bridge, but I did want to uh, introduce myself to some people that may not know me. So, my name is Doug Fansler. Um, currently 59, almost about turned 60 in May. Uh, I've been diagnosed or was diagnosed with uh, Lewy body dementia in uh, May, on May 12th of night of uh, 19, I'm sorry, 2017, five years ago, almost five years ago, at Mayo Clinic. Uh, I have, st I started primarily with uh, a uh, great deal of bowel issues, um, REM sleep disorder, and some auton uh, autonomic, autonomic uh, dysfunction. Uh, so the uh, there's a variety of things that can happen there, but I started off with a couple of those. So, but those are pretty minor. Um, I uh, have been taking medication since 2018, late 2017, uh, for sleep disorder, uh, which is called the REM RBD, or REM Behavioral Disorder, Rapid Eye Movement Behavioral Disorder. Uh, currently I take, at night I take uh, clonazepam, and uh, melatonin and both are pretty high doses to help me sleep without uh, acting out my dreams um, I also started a new drug I'll have to remember what it is a gabapent gabapentin I think that's what it is it's pretty new so I don't remember the name of it uh, that's uh, supposed to aid in that as well um, that's more to help keep help my body stay at rest, period. I was having a lot of movement, period. Uh, so just leg twitching and things like that. Not not uh, restless leg syndrome, but a lot of movement. Um, I also started with uh, mild cognitive impairment as a diagnosis in... Uh, this was before I went to Mayo, so in early, well, maybe it was in late 2016, actually, late 2016. And then the, that neurologist, my first one, um, also diagnosed me over the phone with his nurse calling me on Friday, January 13th. I don't think you could get any worse than that. Uh, so a phone call from his nurse. 5 p.m., right at 5 p.m., Friday the 13th. It was a dreary day, too. And she told me that I had early onset Alzheimer's. And they started me then on, um, I think it's Aricept, uh, which is taken orally. And it just tore my stomach up bad. Um, really did not agree with me, which is one of the side effects that it could really... Make. And I already had bowel issues, so stomach and I just I was a mess the whole way down from while well, I was taking that for a couple months I saw a third nor or a second neurologist at uh, Peoria those were all within OSF which is locally uh, the the medical area that or the medical company that my primary doctor was from, so she has to refer me to them. She thought I just had anxiety and wanted, and I had to wait an hour and a half. Sorry, I had a 10 o'clock appointment. I didn't see her till a few minutes before noon, so it was over an hour and a half. And uh, then when she saw me, it was about 15 minutes of discussion. It was very short. Uh, and she thought I just had anxiety. Well, I think I had anxiety from waiting an hour and a half, maybe. But, and I did have some anxiety, but it was not just anxiety by any means. Went to Mayo, got my diagnosis. Thank you, Dr. Notman, K-N-O-P-M-A-N, for that. And then started 
first with um, have a mild case of apnea. That was my first drug. Took me off of the Aricept because it was killing my stomach. And uh, then I started wearing a patch, which is um, it's a very similar drug to Aricept. The brand name, I think, is called Exelon or Ribostigmine. Everything's got two names. Anyhow, I uh, started taking that, uh, and that's helped a lot with my, I think, has helped a lot with my memory. And because it goes through my bloodstream, through the patch, hasn't affected my stomach at all. Um, I take a fair amount of Miralax to keep things moving smoothly, which still have bowel issues. Also, daily, I take um, uh, a drug, and I'm trying to remember the name of it, um, for anxiety, which helps a lot. And I also take a uh, probiotic to help my gut, everything work good and all that. So, well, I'm about six minutes now. I think I'll stop for right now, but there's a kind of an overview of Doug Fansler and my Louis Buddy experience for now. I will, uh, for those of you that already know me on Caring Bridge, kind of a repeat. For those of you that are new or haven't seen this before, uh, kind of brings you up to speed. And I'll try to bring some updates similar to this. And that helps you see me as well um, uh, uh, in the future. Thank you much.